So I think we are rolling now. Hello, everybody. I know this is kind of too early for anyone e to even be watching just yet, but we are going to do some more live streaming. Tonight's going to be a little bit of a test of my system to see how well can I transition from TCG Online to Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battling. So without further ado, let's hop into the Pokemon TCG Online, and I'll show you a little bit of a problem I've been having right now. Let's go to the trades. I'm trying to get my virtual hands on a lot of these special new cards, the Ultra Beasts, for example, some uh, booster packs. Like I've got a whole bunch of my trades set up here. I'm just trading off some of the Pokemon GX that I don't need. I've found that Gyarados and Alolan Golem, both GXs, are not really that highly sought after, so I'm trying to trade them off. They seem to be pretty much trade fodder for many people online. The big ticket items are going to be, let's see here, let's look for... Uh, I am getting cards from Crimson Invasion. Let's look for the rare cards here. Everyone seems to want things like Type Null. They want to get uh, Nihilego GX. They want Buzzwall GX. Those are all things that I want, too. Soul Valley GX also. I'm trying to get myself a uh, good number of these cards to try to put into some decks because I have a couple deck ideas on the go. It's just a matter of actually being able to, uh, you know, get the cards I need to put together a pretty cool deck for you guys. Hello, Noah Z Dragon number one and Unknown Spike. How are you guys doing? So let's just show you here. What was I going to show you? Is I'm going to show you some of the trade offers people put up here. It's kind of a. Uh, I don't want to say the word crazy, but it's kind of too much for me to be able to do. For example, uh, let's go with. I'm going to look for Soul Valley. So, acceptable trades only is checked, of course. It's only going to show things that I have the proper cards and such to trade back in uh, exchange and in response for these things. Let's take that check mark out of here. There we go. All right. So, if I want to get my hands on... It's not a bad amount of cards. You know, pretty fair deal here, but... I would have to trade away ten Crimson Invasion packs, one Buzzwolt, one Tapu Lele. I don't have any of those. I've been trading. Now, here's the problem. I've been... I actually had my hands on a Buzzwool GX, this version, and I also had the full art version as well. I had one of each at one point, different times. They were offering about close to a dozen packs for either or at each time. So I traded off the Buzzwool GX to get these packs. Again, there's a good chance I'm going to get another one to replace that, right? <laughs> nope. Didn't get it. So I've come to learn my lesson. I'm not going to trade off any of these Pokemon I'm looking for because I'm not likely going to get them back. All right, so that was that's what we're looking at for things like uh, Sil Valley. Look, they want to get two Tapu Leles for one Sil Valley, and if I had them, I wouldn't mind doing the trade. I have one that's still trade locked. I got that on day one of our what set is that? Guardians Rising. I got that on my Guardians Rising uh, day one coverage. However, we don't have. Look at this. Let's trade four Shining Genesect for actually a Rainbow Rare, so Violet GX wouldn't be bad. Uh, what do we have here? They want two Zoroark, which I did trade off. I was hoping to hang on to them to keep that deck going, because I really like the combo of the trade ability with uh, Starmie's Space Beacon. I could have traded two for Silvalli GX with the Dumbbells, a couple of Guzmas as well. There was one that I saw, I think for Buzzful. Let's look at what they want for Buzzful. First of all, hang on, look at this. If I had 14 booster packs, I could trade for a full art Silvalli GX. Not bad. Now, technically, I do have a lot of code cards here, which I could redeem and start trading these off, but I want to use these for you guys, which does remind me I'm going to give out one of these cards right now into the chat. There's only, looks like, three people watching for the time being, but that is fine. We're going to shuffle up these code cards, and you guys have a chance to win one of these, which is going to be randomly drawn from, let's go into the middle here. We've got Roaring Skies Booster Pack. I'm going to type this into the chat, so feel free to copy-paste however you want to do it. Get your code into Pokemon TCG Online. See if I can type this properly here. RG9. All right, so this is the code. Let me just make sure it syncs up properly here. That should be the code. All right, so... Help yourselves to that first code in the chat. Enter it into Pokemon TCG Online. Go up to the shopping cart, of course. Redeem codes. Get yourself a Roaring Skies Booster Pack. So that is trash now. You guys, that's your code now. You can have that. All right, but yeah, let's look what they want for Buzzswole. Because I really want to use Buzzswole for the next deck if I can get my hands on it. Because uh, I've got a pretty cool deck I've put together. But look at this. 15 Booster Packs. 
for a full art. Of course, that is a sort of a decent deal there. Huh. What else are they looking at? Now, if I had the full art, I could get another booster pack and a regular Buzzful, but I don't even have that. Hmm. If I had two... What is... Now, see, this is, this is the trades I'm talking about. Who would trade two rainbow rares for two standard rares, you know? I mean, yeah, Buzzful is infinitely more playable. No, let's not say infinite. That is a big exaggeration. It is quite playable over Guzzlord GX, but you're still talking massive rarity differences here, so I don't know if I would be able to go through with that. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm not... I'm just wasting time. There's, like, no point to show off all this. Look, I could get two boosters of Guardians Rising and a regular Buzzwell if I had the full art, but I do not. So, all that being said, I've got a bunch of my older GXs put up for some booster pack trades. I'm also trying to see if I can get my hands on a full art Guzma, because somebody did have that available for trade for a Buzzwell and I think something else. So I thought if I have a chance to get my hands on Full Art Guzma, I would quickly trade that for a Buzzwool to put this deck together. I also thought, what the heck? I'll put up this idea here as sort of a, what is it, Poisonous Nest and uh, more Poison combo strategy. Trade all this for a Buzzwool GX. You've got your Radicate with Antibodies, which isn't affected by any special conditions such as Poison. You have on the bench, we have Ariados poisoning both active Pokemon except for Grass types. And on your bench, you could also have Force of Viper adding one more damage for each turn of poison. So each of them can add four more damage. That could be five damage per turn. Raticade being immune, of course. Getting rid of tools. Also adding poison, I guess. I guess you don't even need, now that I look at it, the uh, Ariados. But I mean, it'd be handy to have. Anyway, let's see if anyone goes for that trade. So we put up a couple ideas here. I guess for the time being, I'm going to pop into the versus mode. Let's just fire off a, bat or a battle, a match, using our good old Nihilego Annihilation, because I still have that deck assembled. How do I still have Type Null? Oh, I took the Sil Valley out to just make it playable. Alright. I also have Buzzswole Beatdown, which I am still in the progress or process of working on. This one, however, is playable. So we'll just do a random battle against somebody on here. And if you folks are watching you want to battle me, we can do that momentarily. Wow, that's loud. I don't know how loud that is for you guys. I'm going to turn my volume down. If there is any uh, loud music, loud uh, sounds that are blocking out my voice, let me know so I know what the uh, audio audio quality sounds like. Meanwhile, E. Martin, <coughs> didn't see your typing. Oh, we got a couple of cutie fly. Oh, how cute. Unknown Spike needs help with a deck. All right, so let me know in the chat what deck are you working on. I'll see if I can throw some ideas your way as I try to take care of this opponent here using our Nihilego deck. I've got Pokemon Fan Club in hand. Very good. I can get myself Cobalion and Nihilego GX, of course. We can let the first cutie fly fall, of course, because it's sad to say that's what its purpose is in this deck. I want the opponent to take prizes as... Ooh, we see a Type Null. Are we going to see Silvalli GX? It's a possibility. And, oh, come on, I had a good hand. I guess getting six cards isn't bad, though. So a double colorless on type null. Not bad. Oh, we got Rabombi. I would have liked to get a uh, another Pokemon, though. Hmm, well, we can Kakui right now. What do we hit you with? I'm going to just throw a Fairy Energy to the Cutie Fly. I will... Kakui will hit you for 30, at least, you know. I guess that's not bad. And we have Gobalion. Okay, we'll drop you. We got Skyla for the next turn as well. So let's go ahead and hit you for 30. Cutie Fly. If I was fighting another Cutie Fly, I'd just knock myself out right there. 30 damage to a 30 HP Pokemon. But of course, nope. Cutie Fly versus Titan all. Kind of a... Not the best matchup for our poor little uh, fairy bug type. We have Registeel on the bench. We now have the Armor Press of Type Null, I'm sure, is going to go for. Gets the knockout and gives itself a nice defensive boost for the next turn. Unless we see evolution into Sil Valley GX right about now. Which is definitely possible. Look at this, look at this E. Martin flaunting their Sil Valley GX in my face. I'm having so much trouble getting one of my own. Okay, Turbo Drive attaches a basic energy from the discard pile to a benched Pokemon. So here is what we're kind of going to have to do. I'm going to send the cutie fly up because it does have the free retreat cost, of course. Are they attaching an energy or not? What is the deal? They're selecting their prize. All right, so cutie fly goes up. What we do next is kind of interesting. Oh, good. 
fan club. I wanted to get that so I can get myself a, where are you, Nihilego. Let's go one of the full arts. Let's go two of the full arts. Why not? Kind of nice that way. We're going to drop one down immediately. We are going to cause the confusion and poison. So what are your attacks do again? 120. And Rebel GX 50 times all of my bench Pokemon. So we're going to retreat for free, thankfully. We'll send up our Nihilego GX. We're going to evolve into Rebombi. Which will now give me access to gar or start gathering my honey. Get some energy cards out. Grab a couple of Psychic. Now I wonder if we'll be able to survive some damage from this thing. So what is your HP? 210. You'll be taking some damage from Poison. I think what we're going to do, we're going to let them get down to pretty much as low prizes as possible. Or, I don't know. Hang on, so if they hit me for a Rebel, five times, or sorry, 50 times each bench Pokemon, so that's 150. I'm going to put this Nihilego down here and start powering it up. Nah, I don't want to poison my own just yet. I'd like to make use of, if possible, the Symbiont GX attack. So this is kind of cool. Look at this matchup. Silvalli GX, Gladion's special Pokemon from Sun and Moon, up against the Pokemon that they battled in that part of the story, you know, in the uh, Aether Paradise. It's a pretty cool matchup. Of course, what they weren't expecting was two Nihilego GXs. Oh boy, we have a Scizor EX. Hmm. Will it be Mega Scizor is the question, though. And does Silvalli risk the attack? A little bit of damage to yourself there, my friend. Oh, well. That's too bad. Okay. So next, I think we could... Do we have any sort of retreat? Yeah, we have a fairy garden in here. Let me just grab some energy first. We'll grab a fairy and a metal energy. I'll keep powering up the bench Nihilega. Now, for Skyla, what can you find there? I could also go for the Random Receiver. I'm going to do that first, see what the Random Receiver gives us. We have Lily. You don't help me, Lily. Our hand is full of cards. Skyla, help me out here. We're going to grab the Fairy Garden. I'm not going to play it just yet, though. I don't want to have a chance of them destroying it. So that is it for the turn. Pass it over to the opponent and let them take it from there. So I'm kind of hoping they will get the knockout because I want Cabalion powered up. Right now we'd be doing 60 with Revenge Blast. Tapu Lele being played, grabbing a supporter card. We're going to see Guzma, aren't we? How did I know? Alright, so what does this thing do up here? I can do 110. Fair enough. Oh no, my Rebombi. I'm kind of okay with that though. Super effective. If you're getting for if you want to like uh, do damage with metal Pokemon challenge, you get it pretty good right there. So I can actually now bring Nihilego GX up, which is nice, and use the Symbion GX. Cool. I like that. So what do we have here? N. I'm not gonna play N just yet. Hmm. Too bad I don't have Wally because this music kind of fits with Wally. I guess right now we're just going to go for the Symbiont GX. Let's add two more prizes to the opposing side. We're back to six. They're back to six. Or we're at six. They're back to six. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so. They've taken two prizes so far. That's 90 damage. With our Revenge... Is it Revenge Blast? Yes. If they take two more, that's another 60. So 150. We want them to get one more knockout, though. That's right. I was going to say, how did you retreat for free? Completely forgot. So Valley GX's ability provides free retreat for all basic Pokemon. Not bad. All right. Metal Energy to Cabalion. Hmm. Like I said, I'm going to allow Nihilego GX to fall. What I want to do here... I'm going to Super Rod back in our poor little cutie fly and Rebombi. Put them back in. I guess I should play the Fairy Garden right now. Might as well. And now let's go for N. Shuffle things back in. And draw six more cards. So do they. Cutie Fly. How cute. Okay, 
so we've attached our energy. We're just going to go for the lockup attack. 120. They can't retreat next turn, which is pretty cool. So if they get this knockout, which they can easily do with the, uh, the damage they're going to inflict upon us, they will take two more prizes, so that is four prizes total. 120 plus the 30, so 150 from Revenge Blast. I have Skyla too, so I can get myself the Fighting Fury Belt. Let's do that. Alright, come on up, Cabalion. Let's see what we can do against these things. Another Nihilego GX. Not just yet. We'll put this to Cabalion. We're going to go for Skyla, grab ourselves the Fighting Fury Belt in here. There's one of them right there. Attach it to Cabalion, add more power, more HP. And let's go for the Revenge Blast. Not too bad. Two prizes. We're 160. Very, very nice. Okay, who is next? Oh, up comes the Registeel. Hmm. We can easily one-shot that, thankfully. Field War. Oh, no. My free retreat and... Uh-oh. My Fighting Fury Belt wasn't planning on that. I think we'll be okay. So now, the Registeel... Oh, wait, no. We can't survive this. That free retreat of... What is that? Gyrogen. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. Go up there, cutie fly. You got this. So let us... Get Cabalion down. I guess what we can do here, I'm going to play Nihilega. We'll get the Confusion and Poison. Alright, I can get Rabombi back, though. I'm going to play the Ultra Ball. I will get rid of Lana and... I hate to get rid of Guzma, but I will. I have a couple Puzzle of Tama I could use to get Guzma back, though. So we got Rabombi. We could retreat Cutie Fly. Do we do that first? I'm gonna retreat Cutie Fly. I'll let the Nihilego take these hits. Vulture Bombi. I'll play Lily now. Draw five extra cards. Oh, I should have used the what you call it there, the Honey Gather first. Okay, so uh, Comfy is now on the bench. We have Rainbow Energy to give to Cabalion. Just get rid of the damage. Let's use the Fairy Drop right now. And we will now go for the Honey Gather. Let's grab... Well, let's grab a Fairy. Metal and Fairy. What does the Savali go for? I'm just going to end the turn there. They could retreat. Discard two energy to do so. Let's see what happens here. They could go for the Rebel GX doing 200, which would definitely hurt. Oh, come on. That's not a bad combo, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, they brought up Rabombi instead. Hmm. And here's where things get interesting. I have to somehow hope that I can get myself a Fighting Fury Belt. I'm going to bring up Comfey for now. There's one puzzle of time. I would have liked a second one, but got to work with what we have. So Cabalion, get that energy. Let's go for the puzzle of time and rearrange the top three cards. Hala is going to help. Okay, so they're down to two prizes left. Can't do anything else for this turn. We'll end it right there. We need to get ourselves, well, I'm hoping, as sad as it sounds, that this Comfey falls so Cabalion comes up. And Hala could then... Oh no, my rainbow energy. Hala could then shuffle us back in, get us a whole new fresh hand of cards. If I can get the Fighting Fury belt off of that, because I know there is still one more in the deck when we look for it with Skyla. We could power Cabalion back up to survive some of these turbo drive attacks of Silvalli GX. Go for the attack. Don't Guzma me. Well, he already played a supporter, so you can't Guzma me right now. After this match, I'll check the trades and see, has anyone given me the cards I'm looking for? Probably not. 
but you never know what could happen. So, do they retreat the Scizor EX, or do they just go for the damage and knock out Comfe? Another Soul Valley GX, that is fine. Alright. So, with seven prizes being taken, I'm doing 240 damage with Cabalion. It all matters if I get the Fighting Fury, I'll be able to survive one of these hits, though. They're down to one prize left. It's coming down to the wire. But every good match has this intensity, doesn't it? Alright. Metal Energy to power up Revenge Blast. Let's holla away. Shuffle all this back in. Come on, Fighting Fury Belt. No, but fortunately I do get uh, two puzzles of time. I'll play both of those and bring back one of those Fighting Fury Belts. Where are you at, my friend? There you are. Oh, we missed you. And what else could help us here? Um. Uh, hmm. Let's go Goose, my guess. We'll bring him back. Okay, throw the Fighting Fury Belt down. We don't have a free retreat cost on anything, which is bad. But we'll hope we can draw something off the top. Let's go with Revenge Blast. There goes the Sizzle, at least. If they have a Field Blower, though, this is the end of the match, because they can just blow away my Fighting Fury Belt and go for the Turbo Drive and take me down. Ooh, Fairy Garden. If I get Fairy Energy. Hello, Anderson. How's it going, bud? Seeing if we can deal some damage to these Slow Valley GXs with our Cobalion. Wonder Tag. Gonna get a Sycamore, maybe? No, nope, there's a Guzma. That's gonna knock me out. Well, not quite. Unless I have a way to power up more damage. That could do. That's not bad. Oh, come on. They turned into a Psychic type Pokemon. Those drives, I tell ya. I got a really cool idea for Soul Valley GX deck. Should I show you the decks that I have in mind? I have an idea for Soul Valley and for uh, Buzzwool. You guys want to see? Hello, Nicholas. How's it going? Thanks for subbing. You got three Gardevoir GX, Anderson? Very cool. All right, let me just go back to the trades for a second. I want to see, have any of my trades moved? I'm trying to get my hands on some of these booster packs. I'm trying to get Buzzwool GX. So Valley GX would be a good card for me to get as well. No, nope, nothing yet. Come on, who's offering Soul Valley? Let's look for it. Let's look at the unacceptable trades. Yeah. They want me to... Tr There's a promo Soul Valley? That's cool. Gear scan. Search your deck for an item card. Reveal it put it into your hand. X Scissor does 90 and 30 more with a uh, flip of heads. I didn't know there was a promo Soul Valley. That's cool. Um... I could trade 10 Crimson Invasion packs for one Silver Valley, and Cinderar and a Volcarona, but I don't have those. I don't even have a Buzzwool to trade for Silver Valley. <laughs> it's so painful. If I have four Crimson Invasions. No, they want mine for uh, four Crimson Invasions. That's what's going on. Oh, well, yeah, we can't do any of these trades right now, unfortunately. So let's, just for the heck of it, go to the deck manager and I'll show you the ideas. I'll tweak them a little bit just to show you what the idea is actually going to be. So, forget the sock, forget the sock, forget the marsh shadow. This deck would include Buzzsoul. The idea here being that we're going to use Carbink Break. If you can tilt your head or take your monitor and pick it up and put it down sideways, probably don't do that, it might break it. But Diamond Gift for one Fighting Energy does 20, and attach two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. Thing is, that doesn't say basic energy, so I would combine that with trying to get some strong energy in the discard pile to power up Buzzwool GX on the bench. Now, Jet Punch for just a single Fighting Energy does 30, and 30 to a benched Pokemon, but if you throw Strong Energy, it's doing 50 to the active, 30 to a bench. You could also add a bunch more Strong Energy, each one adding 20. You can also do Absorption GX, which is a good first turn attack. This attack does 40 damage for each of your remaining prize cards. If you can co or combine this with Hala, you use Absorption GX as your first attack. You've already used the GX move. Hala will then let you shuffle to get 7 cards back. So, I also got... Uh, Mill tank in here for healing purposes. Do I have a message? I do have a message. Looks like Unknown Spike might want a battle. You want to take on the Nihilego? So you have three Gardevoir GX. You have the deck and you're playing in the tournament on the 18th. Oh yeah, coming up this uh, Saturday. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to be there for that. I do have something else I have to go to, but... 
Uh, what was I going to say? Good luck to everyone who's going to be playing. And I do have to let the other organizer know that I won't be able to make it, but I'll hear all about it afterwards. And just best of luck to everybody that's going to be in the tournament. So that's the basic idea with this Buzzfold deck. If I can get my hands on... Yeah, we'll discard them. If I can get my hands on the Buzzfold that I need. The other deck I was working on is a Type Null deck. And again, let's uh, ignore the fact that we have... What is it? Rayquaza and two Regigigas. Consider one of the Rayquaza being another Type Null and two uh, Soul Valley GXs. So the idea that I had with this, as we know, giving Soul Valley GX the memory items changes its type. You can make it a Fighting type or a Psychic type. I wonder if they're going to give us more memories at some point. I would really like to see that. But the idea being that we could use Weavile from, I think, the Steam Siege expansion and tear away as often as you like during your turn, put a tool card attached to one of your Pokemon into your hand so you could take the memory off, give it a new memory, and change its typing mid-battle. Or just simply don't give it a, me or a memory item, keep it as a colorless type. So that could be a cool combo, mixing things up, keeping the opponent guessing of what type is Sil Valley GX going to be on the following turn. We have another example of some Mill Tank for healing options, and I think that was about it for that one. So the energy was all just double colorless, basic darkness energy. So those are the ideas, but again, let's get my hands on those cards. Anderson says, you have Sil Valley GX. That's very cool. I did have my hands on a Sil Valley GX. Somebody in the trade was offering a good number of booster packs in exchange for it, so I was like, I can do that. I'm bound to get another Sil Valley GX out of those packs, and nope. Didn't quite get it, unfortunately. But you never know. I might even just have to go ahead and buy some more packs online. Like... Tell you what, let's do something here. I'm going to do another random code giveaway here. I'm going to shuffle up these code cards. Some of these, actually a lot of these are given to me by Anderson, so make sure to give him a thanks down in the uh, chat, folks. Let's go from the middle, and we got ourselves a code for, oh, the Elite Trainer Box Mega Alakazam. I'm going to type this into the chat, so feel free to help yourselves. And just before I put that in, Mar Marcelo Palomeque? I might have said that terribly wrong. I hope not. Been a while since the last comment you did. Sorry for the inactivity. Don't worry about it. Sometimes things happen. Life, you know, you got to focus on the important things in life. I'm just a channel throwing out some Pokemon content. Don't worry about that. Been like two years since you don't play TCG. Forgot how to play. Hope to retake the game in the coming year. Yep. Was, uh, you know, I'm not like the uh, poster... Not poster child. What is it? What is the term? Not the spokesperson, I guess, for Pokemon TCG, but I know I speak for all the people that are in the community when we say, you're always welcome to come back and play anytime you like, if that's what's in, you know your interest. It's fun to play, people like to get together and everything. Next tournament that I'm going to do, Anderson, is I should be there for the following event in December, when we have just a casual Learn to Play Day, depending on how busy things are at that point. I'm hoping to be there. If not, once we get into the new year, things will start settling down with my schedule, and I should be there for pretty much everything after that. Oh, you got some more codes. Awesome. Speaking of codes, I'm going to put this one in the chat before I forget. It's got it's right in front of my face, so I probably wasn't going to forget, but you never know. Things do tend to slip my mind on occasion. Like, I remember what I was going to talk about in... Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, something about Pokemon Go. Okay, first of all, for Mega Alakazam Elite Trainer Box, I believe that would get you Mega Alakazam sleeves, a deck box, I'm thinking maybe a promo card? I'm not sure. But, help yourselves to that code. Take it, copy it, redeem it here in Pokemon TCG Online. Alright, so what was I about to say? Yes, so the uh, Pokemon Go thing I was going to say. It'd be cool if Pokemon Go eventually includes weather in the... Uh, somehow to figure out weather, right? Because, like, cast form, when it comes into play in Go, how are they going to get the different forms? So, I'm wondering if it's going to be related to weather. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's take a chance here. We're going to redeem 200 of our tokens. We're going to open one pack. Come on, give me some luck down in the chat, guys. we got to get ourselves a Buzzswole or a Sil Valley. If I get one of either, I might do a match using that deck online here. Products received. Click, get that out of there. Alright, come on. What do you think we get? Hopefully... Oh, you have ten or more codes and three packs of Crimson Invasion online. Very cool. I'm trying to get my hands on those myself. Not to try to twist your arm, but I have put up some trade offers for some GXs for some packs, so if you want to take a look at that, you're welcome to. Alright. We got ourselves Reverse Foil Pikachu. 
Come on. Cross your fingers. We were that close to a GX. If you can somehow measure closeness and getting GXs in random draws like that. Well, no Escavalier. See, I would really actually hope to get an actual traded one because I could trade it off afterwards. Because I know a lot of people are going to want to use it, right? So I don't mind not... What was I going to say? I don't mind not getting it in the pack like that. If I can get my hands on a, not physical one, but a tradable one, not trade lock, I would do that. So here's the thing. This here, Sun and Moon series, uh, Guardians Rising Evolution Pack. This doesn't seem to be tradable, although I did highlight the for trade button here. I can't seem to see it in my option to trade away. So I'm just going to open it up here since we have the live stream going up. Oh, we just opened the Sidui Coin Blister. Cool. Get any cool cards out of that? And what, uh, what packs came in that? All right. Oh, this is just the 22 card pack. Okay. Gives us some cards to work with, though. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I could trade this off. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Slush Rush. I'm starting to wonder, where did I get that code from to redeem this? Must have been a gift. Maybe, actually, Anderson might have given it to me. I don't know. I know you gave me a lot of the uh, codes from the last events that we had. So, see, I wonder would this would people be wanting this for a uh, Buzzwool? It's possible. Got ourselves some trainer cards here as well. And nothing else too crazy looking. Oh, only one Sandshrew? Come on. Oh, well. All right. So, if Unknown Spike is still around, feel free to send me... Oh, so you want some help with a Lowland Muck GX. Okay. I did see some people leaving comments, and again, I've been really bad at responding to comments. Um, oh, you got nothing, Anderson? That's too bad. But yeah, I've been really bad responding to comments, but I was reading some people giving you some ideas. A Lowland Muck GX. Let's take a look at that card together here. I do have actually some of those. Lolan Muck. Did I not type it right? What the heck? There we go. Alright, so look, I've got one of each version here. I have some of them up for trade. I actually have two rainbows? Sweet. Let's look at that guy. He's all colorful, as the other ones are. So, the idea with this one here, Trihazard GX, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So that takes no energy to use, first of all. The new active Pokemon is now burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. The best way to use this Pokemon for attacking, though, Chemical Breath, I would say, is your better attack. So 10 damage plus, it does 70 more for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. So what you're going to want to do is combine that with our good old friend Salazzle. Why did I... Why can this not type right? What is going on? Okay, Salazzle. Not this one. We're talking about the fire type from the Guardians Rising. So Hot Poison. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. That is two conditions right there, meaning the Alolan Muck GX, take a look at that one again. Let's just say Muck GX, there we go. So, two conditions, meaning 70 times 2, 140 plus the 10 base damage. It's 150, which is already more than Crunch itself is doing. So, that's the best way to use this. One darkness, two colorless, and there you go. Hello, Cheese Dibble, how's it going, bud? So that's the way you can use a Lola Muck GX quite well. You can also combine it, though, with... Where is... Raichu. Evo Shock. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. So the reason these are better than using the... What is it? Trihazard GX is because... Why did I hit equal? I want to hit dash. That's what I wanted. All right. Let's look at this one. I like this one. He's a great big can of pop up over his head there. So, Trihazard GX, as it says, it's your attack, so at the end of your turn, things happen. So, you switch up a bench Pokemon, they're now paralyzed, poisoned, and burned, right? So, at the end of your turn, there's a coin flip. If they flip heads, they cure that burn, so that's one condition already gone. At the end of their next turn, they flip that coin again. A second chance for that burn to be gone. So, only a 1 in 4 chance that they're going to stay burned until your next turn when you get to attack. The other thing is, though, the paralysis ends at the end of their turn, so that's con that's one condition already assured to be gone. So, as much as it's good to buy you a turn, Trihazard GX is not something you want to focus on getting the conditions on to use Chemical Breath. So, you want to use other things to get those conditions. For example, you could use, in expanded format, the uh, Hypnotoxic Laser. That's two conditions if you flip the heads. You're doing 150 damage with Chemical Breath at that point. So... 
I guess those are the best ideas. With Alolan Muck, you could also add a Float Stone to retreat it for free into another Pokemon. For Like, if you want to use the Tri-Hazard. Like, you don't even need to use that. If you're going to use the Bench Salazzle and the Bench Raichu to get those conditions off, Alolan Muck can stay up there and do all the damage it needs to do. There's another idea, though. What was I going to say? Oh, let's check the trainer cards. Here's something else you can do as well. The evolution spray. So de-evolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your hand. So as soon as you've played your Salazzle or your Raichu to get those conditions off, immediately play your de-evolution spray to bring Salazzle or Raichu back to hand. On your very next turn, you can play them again. Use that ability once more, Hot Poison or Evo Shock. Continue getting those conditions off on the opposing side. Getting so much damage off with the... What is it called again? Chemical Breath. I keep forgetting the names moments after I mentioned it. But yeah, so those are some good ideas for how to put together an Alolan Muck GX deck. And I think that's what I did in one of the earlier videos. If you look back on the channel or in the playlist of Pokemon TCG Online, you'll probably see that I did something like that. I'm pretty sure I did that because that's why I got all these cards. So Anderson is asking, do I have Guardi Online? Gardevoir? Let's see. Gardevoir. I've got a couple. Some of them are trade locked. I have Gardevoir EX, or Mega Gardevoir EX, the full art from the, what is it, Radiant Collection. I've got. Most of them are trade locked. I don't have a lot available for trade. I don't even know where I got this one, but I really like this ability from. What set is this from? Why oh, doesn't it tell me the set? Let's see, I, I know it shows the symbol. I don't know all the symbols off the top of my head. I do for X and Y and up, because that's when I started getting back into collecting. But the ability, it's like Venusaur from the new uh, Shining Legends. Each basic psychic energy attached to your psychic Pokemon, also it's a little bit different, provides two psychic energy. You can't apply more than one at a time. So could you imagine having this and Venusaur in play, attach a psychic and a grass to a psychic Pokemon? You've got four energy attached to the, that Pokemon right then. That would actually be kind of decent if you have a Pokemon that does more damage based on how much energy is attached to it. Like, let's look at our old friend, who we can't even seem to get our hands on, Lele GX, Tapu Lele. This does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So with just a Psychic and a Grass, Tapu Lele GX already has enough energy to power the attack, but already doing 80 damage with just two energy cards, plus any more damage or based on the energy the opponent Pokemon has too. Um, yeah, so as far as how many Gardevoir do I have that are tradable, I've got two Megas, and that's it. Everything else is just something I got out of the, uh, something I got out of online packs that are trade-locked, unfortunately. So, don't really have a lot available, unfortunately, there. You've got two Lele. How did you get two Lele? I mean, I got one out of a the day one booster pack that is trade locked. Are yours trade locked or tradable? Not that I'm looking to trade for them or anything, but uh, just curious. And that was Cheese Dibble that said that. I, sh I just, I'm responding to the chat, not saying who I'm talking to. I'm sure the person who left the comment knows who I'm talking to. All right, so, shall I do another random battle against folks? I'm just gonna check the trades again quickly. Let's just take a look. Did anyone, well, I would have said if they took me up on any of my offers. Looking to trade a bunch of my older GXs, or some of the more newer GXs as well, including, rain, or I would say Rainbow Rare, including Alolan Golem GX for anyone interested. I've also got, oh, look at this. Wait, I'm one. Oh, look at this. I'm trading one of the Rainbow Rare Alolan Muck GXs for four Crimson Invasions. See, I'm hoping to get enough Crimson Invasion booster packs that I can trade for the uh, Ultra Beast that I need, or even the, what you got? What you call it? Silver Valley GX. Just complete luck that you got? Yeah, total luck getting those cards. It's like, you know, some people say the uh, there's a lot of skill and talent involved. A lot of the times it is luck of the draw, not just in playing the game, but in getting the cards you want. It's whatever cards you randomly happen to get out of those booster packs, right? Sometimes the luck is with you, sometimes it just doesn't seem to be. So speaking of luck, let's get us another pack here. I know I'm setting myself up for disappointment, but we're going to go for one more here. Let's redeem. I normally wouldn't do this, but since I have you folks watching, I feel like we've got some sort of good luck possibly happening here. All right, redeem that. I want to redeem that. Clear that. All right, let's see what this pack gives us. Again, even if it's not tradable, I don't care. I just want to get my hands on one of these GXs that I need for these decks. 
get ourselves two rares. The reverse foil is going to be nice. I have a bunch of these tradable, too. This is the one with the gnawing curse. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, you put two damage on that Pokemon. Four of those Gengar on the bench, each of them doing two damage. That's 80 damage every time they attach an energy. And the rare is... I mean, it's not a bad card. It's just not what I was looking for. I have a bunch of these tradable as well. Alolan Raichu doing more damage. That would be brutal with this Gengar. It does more damage based on how many energy the opponent's Pokemon has on it. So it's like, you're doing damage. Oh, you don't have them trade log. That's cool. Just so you know, Cheese Devil, again, not trying to encourage you to do anything or whatever, but people are offering a lot of cards and packs and everything in exchange for those Tapu Leles. But that's all I'll say about that. I'm not going to encourage you to go ahead and do that because those Leles are quite useful with the... Wonder Tag, is it? I think. I gotta look it up. I gotta see if I know what I'm talking about. I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go to the collection. Lele GX. I'm pretty sure Wonder Tag is the ability I'm thinking of. Yes, yeah, so when you play it, it's basically like the, uh, what was it? Jirachi EX, I think. When you play it from your hand to the bench, search your deck for any supporter card and take it. Very good. I remember I messed up on our day one coverage of the, uh, what was it called there? The Guardians Rising uh, coverage when... I was so eager to try out this new Pokemon, I started with it on the bench. I should have waited and played it. Yeah, they always do request Lele. That is a quite commonly requested card. And with good reason, though. It does a lot of good damage as well. I've never seen anyone use Tapu Cure GX, but, like, it is a viable option. With no weakness or resistance, too. Well, forget resistance. With no weakness, that's not bad. It's kind of strange that all the Tapus don't have any weakness. You'd think they would have put that in for at least some leeway or whatever, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do another random versus on here. Let's use... Which deck should I use? I'll try another Nihilego Annihilation. Let's just do it. And if you guys want to do a battle against me, of course, just let me know in the chat, and I'll take whoever wants to take me on here on the live stream. I think after we do maybe one or two viewer battles, I'm going to do my little test of switching over to Sun and Moon on the uh, 3DS to see if I can do a, a nice little transition here midstream just to test my computer capabilities. So Robot3-14, or underscore 14, gets the coin flip. They take the first turn, I'm assuming. And how much do you want? Oh wait, no, we go first, so we're not gonna mulligan. That's pretty cool. Oh, we didn't, sweet. All right, so here's the question. I guess I will leave with Cabalion. I could put the Nia, well, I'm gonna put Nia Lego down during my turn, so I can get the ability fired off. And then I could Big Malasada away the poison, actually. Alright, so I go first. I got Fighting Fury Belt. What do we got going on over here? Joltik and Murkrow. Interesting. Alright, let's drop down the Nihilego GX. We will do the Confusion and Poison. It's got 30 HP on this Joltik here. Put a Fighting Fury Belt down onto our Cabalion. We're going to cure away the poison. Confusion can stay. I don't care about that. We're probably going to retreat before too long anyway. Throw this onto the Naya Lego. <clears throat> and you know what? Let's just do one puzzle of time. What do we have on the top? Um, I could do away with those. I'm going to grab Sycamore. Yeah, let's, hmm. let's do that. And we're going to end the turn there. Now let's see. Do they play an N or some other way to shuffle my cards away? Because if so... It was a completely wasted puzzle of time. Nope, there's their supporter. How? All right. Now I wonder, are we going to see... Oh, we got free retreat on that thing, do we? I didn't even think of that. Oh, and there's the whirlwind. So I was expecting this might have happened. They're going to switch my Pokemon around, so Nihilego GX takes to the active spot. And we got our Sycamore. So let's drop the Fairy Garden. I guess just to put it out there, otherwise we're losing it, no point, you know, let's put that on an eye Lego GX, and Sycamore for a good number of Pokemon. Oh, look at this, we got Cutie Fly, we got Confei, that's everyone that we needed right there. Random receiver for a Pokemon Center Lady. No energy, but next turn we do have Rabombi in hand, we can play it down and start using the, what I call, Professor's Letter ability, essentially, the Honey Gather, getting two energy from the deck. So the Murkrow, Oh, that's not good. So the Murkrow evolves to Honchkrow, which could hit. Oh! Yeah, there's Faint Attack. 
You know, you could have knocked out my cutie fly immediately. I'm glad you didn't. We start using our good old uh, honey gather. All right, attach this to Nihilego. I'm going to. Well, hang on. Let me Lily first get the most cards that I can. Get three cards. Another psychic. We have another cutie fly. Go for the knockout on cutie fly. I want to see that happen. I'm sorry, cutie fly. That's your purpose in this deck. We get another psychic already in hand. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've only got one psychic in hand, one attached, one discarded. So let's grab fairy and metal. I'll have to super rod the energy back in next turn to make use of it. All right, and that is it. Make sure the chat is still where it's at. Don't want to miss any messages from you folks. All right, delinquent. I gotta discard my cards. I can discard the energy. That's no big deal. I'm gonna shuffle it back in regardless. So super rod. Glad I have that in hand. Do you faint attack my cutie fly? Good Raven Squad, 10 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh! I thought it was all of their Pokemon. I see. So they're going to put damage on my bench and hit me harder with that attack. Not bad. Uh, let's go for the Super Rod, shuffle back in the two Psychics, and let's bring back Cutie Fly, I guess. And we could now end, which I think is the way to go. Shuffle up to six. They're going to go down, or we're going to stay at five, but five different ones, of course. Hmm. All right. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to put this onto Nihilego. I'm going to do the Empty Light again. Fuse and Poison. Both active Pokemon. I will now go for the Honey Gather and grab out a Psychic and a Fairy. What I'm hoping, though, is to find a Rainbow Energy. Let me think here. We have no guaranteed way of getting ourselves a uh, rainbow energy. I'm going to puzzle of time. I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to grab Sycamore and the Fairy Garden again. It's going to guarantee we'll get the most possible cards. So let's now Ultra Ball. As risky as it is, I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Fairy and the Psychic Energy. Let's grab ourselves another Cutie Fly, put it on the bench, making a nice little target for the opposing Faint Attack. And that is that for the turn. So this is not resistant to Psychic, so I could even destroy this thing with our Lockup. Stop getting rid of my energy, come on! Team Flare Grunt, more like Team Flare Jerk, am I right? Yeah. Devolution Spray. Hmm. That's annoying. Whirlwind, I'm gonna bring Cutie Fly up. It has free retreat, of course. At least it cured my poison, which I appreciate. Okay, so what we're gonna do then, since that does give us a turn, to start powering up Naya Lego GX without the accursed Team Flare grunts. I'll drop down the Fairy Garden. Do I want a Sycamore right now? Yeah, I kind of do. Let's Sycamore, discard these cards, draw back all of this stuff. How about that? We didn't get a Fairy Garden. Yay! I mean a uh, Rainbow Energy. Let's Honey Gather, though, and grab two of our Metal Energy. I have Skyla that I can get the uh, Super Rod with. Do I want to Ultra Ball for anything? Mm, not really. Let's put this to Cabalion. And we're done. Bursting Balloon is gone. What deck should you use in the tournament? Gardevoir or Metagross? Um, so both Unknown Spike and Cheese Dibble want to do a battle. Alright, so we can do those after these here. Oh, we got ourselves the Dumbbells. Leave Cabalion alone. He didn't touch you yet. He's going to. Um, which deck should you use? I don't know. Which deck do you feel is the most uh, consistent? You know, you have the best feel for. I'm not going to put that on Cabalion yet. I want to... I don't 
No, I'm gonna have Kakui. See what we find. Still no rainbow energy. Let's get rid of their dumbbells, though. Hmm. I don't think there's any more energy we can get. Let's just try honey gathering. Like, yeah, it's all empty. All right. So in that case. Thank you. I'm not sure what to do at this point, though. I guess I'll put this to Cabalion. I'll let Cutie Fly take the hit. Assuming they're going to go for the attack. They could keep going for, of course, their faint attacks on my bench Pokemon. Which they're gonna do. Yep. You're welcome to knock out Nihilego. I don't mind that. This is getting crazy. Let's go, Sky. It'll get us the Super Rod. There it is. All right, I was gonna, are you serious that it's not in the deck? Okay, Super Rod. We're going to shuffle back in some Psychics. Both Psychics, and what else do we want to get back? Let's grab another Fairy. We've got plenty of metals, it is. All right. So, let us, Honey Gather, bring back our two Psychic into the hand. Attach one to the Nihilego. And... Call it a day, for that turn at least, anyways. A how is played, drawing three more cards. So I like how the opponent isn't using any EXs, not because it's like, it makes it easier for me or anything, but, you know, it keeps things interesting. Not oh, my Fury Belts. No. Both of them? What? Okay. Well, I can get them back, though. I think I still have three puzzles of time available. So your last time you won in juniors with Gardevoir, Anderson, I'd say that's a pretty good idea to keep going for that. Then. And Jolted comes up. Okay. So what we're going to do here, attach this to the Nihilego, of course. Let's cure up our Cabalion. we got two others in hand. We're now going to free retreat. Let's just speed up the deck a bit. There's only 12 cards left, but we're going to shuffle some back in momentarily because we have How. I mean, Hollow. And let's go ahead and fire off the Symbiont GX. Up to seven prizes on the opposing side. <laughs> now, how is kind of cool. I mean, it can be useful. It gets you three cards, right? I mean, it costs your supporter for the turn, but there are better ways you can get draw support, such as... I like uh, Scorched Earth is a good way to get some more cards. Trade with Zoroark GX. If I could get some back, is a great way to do it too. You discard one card from hand and bring up, you know, two cards from the top of the deck. So, double thread hitting the bench, is it? Which two on the bench are you gonna go for? Oh, my cutie fly! No! <laughs> Who saw that coming? Show of hands. Alright then. I have Acerola, so I can just bring our good old Pokemon back in a bit. But we're going to Hala. Yep. Shuffle back. We'll draw seven cards back. I want to put some cards back in the deck because the deck's getting a little bit thin down there. There's a Rainbow Energy. Don't need it just yet, I don't think. Can we get some energy back out to thin out? Yes, just get the one metal. All right. Let's just go for the lockup. Get some nice damage off on this Galvantula. Taking it down, getting a prize. Another Nihilego GX. That ain't bad. And up comes the Raikou. So it's resistant to electric, or to le uh, metal. So they've taken two prizes so far. They can take two more if they get the knockout here, which could they do with this damage? Not quite. Hmm. Crazy as this sounds, I'm just gonna end the turn there. Hit me. Go ahead, do some damage. Could I have knocked them out this turn though? I can do 90. No, I couldn't get the knockout, especially with the resistance on this thing. Build Mega Gardevoir. I could try. I just don't know. Like, I have to take a look at what some possible combinations would be. All right, type of Rebellion, take the stage. Now here's the cool part. We're gonna do this. I'm going to put Rainbow Energy to Cobalion. Oh, I've been hit, but guess what? Not anymore. Fairy Guard, or sorry, uh, Fairy Drop. Rainbow Energy gives you Fairy Energy attached. Let's go for... 
Revenge Blast. I thought there was the knockout. Oops. Okay then, let's get rid of... I don't think we need a fan club, Ultra Ball, and... One of the Acer Rollers, I guess. Yeah, I thought that was an knockout. Hmm. Oh well, this is... I can't do math, okay? That's just the thing. Well, let's heal up. We're gonna play Lana to heal 50. We'll play Big Malasada to heal a little bit more. Let's get another Cavalian ready, because I think our first one's going to fall at some point. We're gonna go for an energy there, and go for Revenge Blast, boom. Get ourselves psychic energy. Who is next? So this thing could do 70, 80. Oh, that's the knockout. Ouch. Alright. Get up the Cabalion. At least that weakens the Raven's Claw attack, though. Can we get metal energy somehow? Let's do this first of all. Play Nihilego. We'll confuse and poison both Pokemon. I don't think there's any metal energy left in the deck. Nope. But we can at least cure ourselves. I'm going to go with Fairy Energy onto Valiant. Calm Phase ability providing immunity to all special conditions. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to go for Quick Guard, I guess. That's all we can do. Yeah, the resistance. I know. I didn't calculate the resistance. I never do that. I just thought... Hey, I've gotten... Or they've taken four prizes. That's got to be enough damage, right? <laughs> no. Plus, I forgot its ability does... It reduces damage by 20 if it has lightning energy attached to it. Get out of here, Honchkrow. No one wants you. We're about to see Honchkrow come back. When this Murkrow comes up... All right, then. But there it is right there. They could retreat the Galvantula if they need to anyways. They do have the energy attached for a retreat cost. But they're probably just going to go for the damage. They can hit me for... There's 32 two bench Pokemon. Electroweb does 32 the active. Now, you are resistant to steel, but... I need another puzzle of time. So, you are almost knocked out. Let's get you back. Come back, Compa. Hmm... It's not looking too good for us right here. How many puzzle of times have we used? We've used all three? Oh, that's no good. All right. Top three cards, what do you find? Guzma will use. It's not going to really help us, though. Hmm. There's not much we can do here. I'm going to end the turn. Yeah, I think the opponent has this one. If I only hadn't lost my Fighting Fury belt. Jengma O Toys R Us came out today. Is that like a uh, a figure or is it like a collection box? That no, was Anderson who asked that there, or mentioned that, and I'm asking the question. Okay, retreat into Murkrow. You're gonna whirlwind me? Don't! I wanna stay active. I can call and shot you for 20, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. We can at least attach an energy here and do some damage. But there is Guzma. Hmm. I'm not going to play him just yet. Let's just do some damage here. Call on shot for 20. Wow. I'm hitting hard now. For a Bombi. Oh, it's a promo card, you think? They're cheesable. Okay. The Como O. Was it Como or Jangmo O? You said Jangmo O, I think, Anderson. All right. What are you going to do, my bro? Yeah, you're going to run away. I thought so. Can we see the... Oh, no! Paralyzed! If only I had fairy energy attached. I don't even know what's left in my deck. I don't think anything's gonna help me here. Hmm. Tell you what, get up here, Murkrow. I'm stalling things out. I don't care. I'm going for the uh, protection of Quick Guard. So, ha! Ah, you have to attach an energy to retreat now. If you want to do some damage to me. 
Just the foil stamp on it from Toys R Us. Oh, okay. I have had a few of those, the uh, the nice little giveaway cards that they give you. I've had, I've gotten, I think, a Magikarp, Pikachu. I've gotten a few of them, actually. That wasn't nice. Well, if you're going for the damage, you know, uh, online challenge for the day, I'll let you get the knockout. I'm going to put all these Pokemon down. You can go ahead... Use me as your punching bag, your guinea pig. Well played. I'm going to throw you out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well played. You got a good deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ooh, 70. Ow. So what's kind of cool about that attack, though, it does more for every time that you get hit. That is painful. So this is going to do 140. It's a lot of damage. And the last two prizes take the opposing side. That was fun, though. That was cool. I like seeing non-EXs that can stand up to EXs and GXs like that. I mean, it's not so fun when you're on the receiving end of it, of course, but it's still cool. You got Magikarp and Nebby Cheese Dibble. Very cool. Nope. Uh, no trades have gone through, unfortunately. So before we do any challenges against some players out there, what I'm going to do first is give another code out. Shuffle up the stack here. Grab from the middle. And this is going to be a Sun and Moon booster pack online. I'm going to toss it into the chat here for you guys. Uh, yeah, we'll battle in just a sec there, Cheese Devil. I'm going to give this out, and then I'll send you an invite, or you send me an invite, however we're going to do it. Okay. So this is for a Sun and Moon booster pack. I'm going to type it in to make sure I have it all typed in properly for y'all. I believe that is good and redeemable. So in the chat, grab yourselves that code card. I'll toss that to the trash because it's no longer usable. You have two of the promo Jangmo O, do you? Very cool. Alright, so no one has taken me up with my offers just yet. Didn't expect so. Hey, I can trade a shiny or a reverse world Gladion for a regular Lusamine. Why would I do that? Like I say, some of these trades make you wonder, what were they really thinking when they put these up? So Greninja for Metang, that's not good either. Like, why would I trade a rare for an uncommon? I don't know. But this kind of isn't bad. Trade one GX for two boosters and three rare cards. I would do that, but I gotta hang on to my Nihilego for my the deck that I have here. I get three uncommon for four common. That's kind of a decent trade. And look, if I want to trade away my full art, I'm gonna want more than just two booster packs, you know? Call me crazy, but. I can trade a float stone for 15 common cards. Looks like Unknown Spike is getting a drop on the challenge here, first of all. Let's go with our Nihilego Annihilation. You guys have seen how it works, so you know how to deal with it, I'm sure. But, let's see if we can pull a win out anyways. So, Unknown Spike, also known as Steam Sale here in Pokemon TCG Online. Loading up the game. I'm glad to say we haven't had any lag, it looks like. It's very nice. Like quite often, my computer, I mentioned before, the maybe the connection, the internet connection is not that good. And it, uh, I kind of lag out a little bit here. Let's take the first. But fortunately, that hasn't seemed to happen for this one. Alright, they had no basics. I do have only these two. Let's leave with the non full art. And you know me, as I say, and someone actually mentioned something about this, I'm not competitive. I'm not going to take any cards for the mulligans. I like just an even fair match kind of thing. I have fun with it. They mulligan three times. Oh, they got the muck. Good luck to you as well. Actually, why don't I just type that? You can, you can probably hear me anyway. But it's always good to send it in game as well. And they got to choose their active Pokemon. We're taking the first turn. So we have Lily. I've also got Ultra Ball. What I'll probably do is I would... Well, I'm not going to say just yet. I'm going to wait till they play it out. I probably shouldn't mention what I'm planning to do on the next turn is such and such. Because anyone who's playing me and watching will hear everything that I'm going to say. So, I guess, yeah, when we're doing a viewer battle, I'm not going to be maybe as talkative. But, I don't know. I don't think that really matters too much. So I'm going to play Nihilego. We'll do the Confusion and Poison. That's actually going to help Alolan Muck, come to think of it. If I get myself with these conditions, oh, you can hit me for 150. Anyways, let's not expect the worst. I'm going to Ultra Ball, I guess the Random Receiver, and 
Lana's not as useful. Let's get rid of her. Grab ourselves. Which one do we want? I'd like to get Cutie Fly, in case we can get ourselves Rabombi for the next turn. I'll play down Cutie Fly. I'm going to drop down the Fairy Garden, just to make max use of Lily, getting seven new cards on my first turn, of course. There's Cabalion right there. Puzzle of Times, got two of those. And we'll put this to the Cabalion. I guess that's going to be it. I could, next turn, go for the Puzzle of Time to get back the Ultra Ball and Random Receiver. I could also bring back Lily, too, though. Alright, so Poison on both sides. Alright, so... Okay, Cheese Devil. If if I battle Cheese Devil, I might want to take the Mulligans. I'll get a lot of them. Gee! Huh! I wonder what kind of deck that uh, Cheese Devil is going to use against me. Hmm. Should I bring a Fighting deck? Super effective damage. I'm thinking that might be the case. Alright, send me the friend request. Sounds good. And you said your username was in the chat here. I'll scroll back and check it. I'm sure you mentioned it. Oh yeah, you mentioned it. What am I thinking? Alright. So, was that two puzzles of time being played, or is it just the one? So they do get the attack off. They're going to division and get themselves another Grimer on their bench. That's actually a pretty decent move, because if they can get the Alolan Muck in hand, this counts as Grimer being in turn for one or in play for one full turn. My turn being that turn. Well, let's put this to the Nihilego. Do I wanna... Just to get it out of hand, I actually do want to use the Big Molossop. Let's get rid of the Poison. I don't mind the Confusion Sting. I'm going to play the two puzzles of time. As I say, I'll bring back Lily and... I can, oh, Ultra Ball and Lily, I guess. I can Ultra Ball away a couple of cards. So I don't need the fairy. I can shuffle that back in. I can get rid of. I can get rid of the fairy drop. Center lady might be more handy. All right, what do we have? We have a cutie fly. We need to get a confe. Put that onto our bench here. And Lily for five more cards. What do we find? Rabombi, nice. The idea with Rabombi here, even though if I don't really need the energy, like I've attached an energy this turn, right? Yeah, well, I have an N. I can N you down next turn, which is actually going to probably help you. But the idea with the Robombi, even if I don't have any energy that I can play this turn, you should always use it because taking two basic energy out of your deck means that that is two less basic energy that you will draw from the top of the deck on your next turn. So it's always good. It's called thinning the deck out. It's something that I never really focused on, but when I heard people talking about it, I said, yeah, that makes sense, because if you minimize the percentage of energy in the deck, you maximize the chance of getting better non-energy cards when you draw, if you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so yeah, we're going to see an interesting match after this one versus Cheese Devil. There's the Rainbow Rare, Alolan Muck GX. Not bad. He's going to somehow get the Alolan Grimer out of the active spot. You can make use of Tri Hazard. Giovanni Scheme, drawing one more card. I like those cards that give you the two options. You can either draw until you have five cards in hand, or your Pokemon can do 20 more damage this turn. And a potion healing up that alone Grimer. So you, you mulliganed 26 times. Did he take all 26 cards is the question. All right, I'll put this to the Nihilego, and let us now end. I'll give you a six fresh cards, how about that? Give me six fresh cards as well. Get another Cabalion. I could bench you for sure. The only thing is I'm going to have to get this Naya Lego out of the active spot. So again, let's use the Honey Gather, draw those two basic energies out. I know, like, what I said might sound counterproductive to playing at the end, shuffling the cards back in, but, like, it's still, for each turn of the game, it does minimize how many basic energies you're going to, uh, with, you know, draw top deck out of that. Yeah, no problem, Steam Sale, Unknown Spike. Glad I could help. We're doing some friendly matches today with you folks, so, you know, I don't mind handing out a nice little N, give you guys a fresh hand. Give you guys a hand. How about that? There we go. So a Pikachu. We are going to see the Raichu, I'm assuming, then. The Evo Shock. Tierno, drawing three extra cards. It's the champion music. As of course, talking about uh, Pokemon League Championships, as far as the playthroughs go on the channel, I am three-time League Champion, so consider this music when you're fighting the Professor in Sun and Moon. Yeah! 
All right. So what do we want, Skyla? Skyla, we're gonna get. Well, wait a minute. Let me think here. This kind of helps us. Any Pokemon with Psychic Energy attached has two color or two less retreat cost. Thanks. All right, let's play the Skyla. Grab ourselves a Fighting Fury Belt. Uh, hey, guess what two cards are prized, everybody? <laughs> well then, let's go ahead and try. Uh, what do we want then? I guess we could... Field Blower? Ah, oh, what I said about earlier, luck of the draw. Yeah. So again, yeah, let's use our Honey Gatherer. Let's grab a couple of metal energy just to get them out. There's only two basic energies left in the deck for the time being. I mean, I do have Guzma, though. I can switch things around with Guzma. Let's throw the energy on Annihilego. And that's that. That poor Grimer's been poisoned this whole match. Ow. I need GXs from Crimson Invasion. Well, you can see the ones that I'm using right here, of course. If anyone in the chat, though, has any up for trade, feel free to let Anderson know, because he's asking if anyone has the GXs available. Hmm. So it's kind of cool, though, with the way this Altar of the Moon works. It says, any Pokemon with a Psychic or Darkness Energy attached has two colorless less retreat costs. So this Grimer technically only needs one energy attached to retreat. You could also evolve. Now, there you go. If you're evolving the Raichu, be careful with that, because the Evo Shock only matters when you play Raichu from your hand to evolve. Evo Soda will not trigger the Evo Shock ability. Just keep that in mind. But we do see Muck. We can now... You could have used the Trihazard GX, but you must have something else planned in mind. Okay, so what we're going to do... Again, I could Guzma... I'm not going to Guzma yet. We're going to attach a Psychic Energy. We're going to drain out the deck of some more Energy cards. And here's where we have our free retreat. So the Nihilego GX that has been confused this whole time finally gets to do something, and that is Runaway. Going to bring up the other Nihilego GX with all those energies attached, and Symbiont GX... Oh, in real life, not online. So, Anderson wants to know, does anyone have any actual GXs? Me? Ow. I have... What did I get? I don't... I didn't get any yet. I actually didn't get one of the, uh... Crimson Invasion pre-release packs. Because our event at Heroes Beacon was so crowded, so big, there wasn't any left for the organizers, which is totally fine. I prefer when the players get their cards. It's just the one thing that I felt a little bit bad about every time I do a video. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. I want to think of what to do first. All right, let's attach energy. All right, let's go for the attack. You do resist this, so only 100 being done. But remember, you do have the Trihazard GX. You can pull something else up, paralyze, burn, and poison me. But anyway, uh, what was I just talking about? Yeah, so the only thing that I felt bad about not getting my own pre-release pack, not for my own sake, for the sake of the viewers having a chance to get code cards, but that's why I was really happy for all the players that sat down with me to open up their packs together, that you guys provided some code cards to the viewers, and I appreciate that. Not that I got anything out of it, but I was glad that the viewers could get something out of this. Okay. Ouch. So, actually, that's not so bad for us. So, Cheese Dibble has a Crimson Invasion pre-release vid on the channel. And if you skip to the end, you can see yours, all the real GXs that you got. So here's what's kind of cool with Comfey. Fairy Energy cures all special conditions. Very nice. Also, Fairy Energy allows the Fairy Drop to heal 30 damage. Now, if only I had my Fairy Garden, I could retreat for free. But I do have Guzma. Hmm. Let's get the Pikachu up. Pikachu might be a little bit on the scarier side. Uh, let's get our Nihilego back up here. We do have the, basically, free retreat cost now if I need it. Let's lock up. Let's lock up this match. Pikachu down, can't retreat, but it's knocked out. So there's a Fury Belt. Finally, we got Kartana, Gyarados, Alolan, Executor, Nihilego, and Shiny Soul Valley. Very cool. Pikachu falls, up comes Alolan Muck GX. So this is where we could see... You could crunch, actually. 120. That will hurt. But again, the idea with this deck of mine is, like, let the opponent get some knockouts, because 
the more damage you do, the more so, uh, more Cobalion powers up. So we both use our GX attack. That's pretty cool. Chemical Breath. At this point, Chemical Breath will only do 10. But, okay, what does this one do? Which way did you face it? So I can't be paralyzed or asleep. You can't be confused or poisoned. So you're completely... Oh, no. You're completely immune to... This is going to knock me out. Crunch takes me down. Okay, Super Rod. Shuffling back Pikachu, I'm assuming, so you can get your Evo Shock. But, yeah, that facing the uh, Chaos Tower in that direction makes it so my Naya Lego GX does no effect on that. That's kind of cool. And, yeah, there's the Crunch. All right. It's Crunch time, everybody. We have another Cabalion here, plus we have the Fighting Fury Belt, so we can power it up. Go on up there, Naya Lego. All right, so let's prepare. Hey, another Cabalion. Look at that. Fighting Fury Belt. Metal Energy. Attack! Let's go with Lock Up. So 100. Now. You've taken one prize, which means that I'm doing 70 damage with Revenge Blast. That's not enough for the knockout, of course. But we're having fun trying anyway. Here's a good idea for the chat. So far. Of all the Ultra Beasts that we've seen, not just in my videos on the TCG, but like just in the game in general, uh, Sun and Moon, right? Which is your favorite Ultra Beast? And feel free to say why. Like, what is it the, the weird way out there design of it? Is it uh, the typing of it? I found it interesting that both UB02s is uh, they are bug and fighting type. I wouldn't have thought they'd use the same typing for the same numbered Ultra Beast because they didn't do that with uh, Cartana and Celesteela. They are well, they're both metal, or both steel type. One flies, and one grasses, I guess would be the term. A Lowland Vulpix now on the field. Oh, is that going to be the Luminous Barrier, I think it's called, ability? The only deck that you lost to is Glaceon. Was that in the, uh, the tournament you are talking about? Oh, the de-evolution. Oh, you knocked out your own Alolan Grimer. There's my Fairy Garden. Now the Alolan Muck GX comes up. Well, that's kind of good in a way. That way I don't get two prizes for knocking out the Alolan Muck GX. Alolan Grimer only cost one prize. Not bad. Okay, so you're doing one puzzle of time, arranging the top cards. We've still only taken one prize, or you've only taken one prize. We got one hatch. We're gonna get that uh, nine tails. I'm assuming. Oh, is it not in the deck? <sighs> Wouldn't it be terrible if I put it in your prize cards with that attack? All right. So, hmm. I was thinking of playing the Fairy Garden. Wait, can we get Fairy Energy? I think we already have all our energies out. Yeah. So I'll just go for the damage, just to knock you out. I'm gonna say, if I could get Fairy Garden, I could... Or if I had Fairy Energy, I could drop the Fairy Energy on Nihilego, play the Fairy Garden. I could also then go for the other Nihilego with the abilities, because of... Uh... What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. So we can't hit you, which is an interesting dilemma. But I believe this is probably the knockout. Let me do the math. So we're doing 70 times 2 for the weakness. Yeah, we can just simply retreat, which is enough for the knockout. And down goes, unless I've done the math wrong, Mola Nine Tails. The Cabalion, which is good to always choose a non-EX or GX attacker in case you're fighting something like that nine kills. So good game, Steam Sale slash Unknown Spike. Yeah, we thinking there for a little bit. Wasn't sure quite how to uh, deal with that. We have a friend request from Cheese Dibble. Let's confirm. Accept. So for the time being, Cheese Dibble said he'll be back in just a little bit, and we'll do a match against him. But I'm gonna do another card giveaway in just a sec. Get caught up in the chat here. Anderson says, 
You like Buzzwall because it's so funny to make fun of its name. It's not a, f it's not a name to make fun of. It's, he's he's he buzzes and he's swole. You know, you're just jealous that you're not as swole as Buzzwall. No, it is kind of a funny name, I guess. I find it funny that both Buzzwall and Guzzlord have two Zeds in their name, like in the same spot too. B U Z Z G U Z Z. I find it funny that whenever I'm using the letter Z, I don't say Z. Like, I really have to force myself not to, because I've been a fan of Dragon Ball Z ever since it was first on, you know, TV here in North America. So, I always feel like saying the letter Z. But, I'm Canadian. I gotta be true to my Canadian heritage. I gotta call it Z, despite how weird it is to say that, because of my fandom with the whole Dragon Ball series. Anyway, good game to you as well, Unknown Spike. So, as we wait for Cheese Dibble, let us grab ourselves another code card and I guess before we do that no hang on let's go back to our shopping cart I'll drop another 200 tokens see if I can get myself one of the cards I'm looking for what do you think we're gonna luck out this time probably not but we'll never know unless we try okay come on I see Sil Valley right on the pack it's gonna be in this pack of cards counter energy oh we got two we got A, Reverse World B Drill. I kind of can't look, but I have to look. Ah, it's a wiggly tough. That's not the tough Pokemon I'm looking for. I want Buzzwool. <clears throat> well then, let's go to the trade once again. And just take a quick look. What else do we have as Buzzwool offers? Acceptable trades only, please. Um, I saw something that might have been interesting. Hang on. Where were those Gengar? I saw something offering or asking for Gengar. Thirty-seven booster packs for three GXs. Yeah, one full art, but still. All right, we're gonna do something here. We're gonna go for the cards. If you're not sure how to actually switch things up here, I'll show you. I want to see what cards, what Buzzwool are being offered to me for something. So I'm gonna say I am getting. That's all you gotta click. Just say I am getting. Hit apply. So everything that says Buzzful on the I am getting side shows in this list here. Including stuff that I can't quite get. <sighs> when I saw Gengar, I thought, oh, I have a chance, and then nope. So that's a promo Buzzful, too. I could, if need be, just go ahead and buy a bunch of the Buzzful tins and get those that way, but that costs money. And I wanna get the free cards online if I can help it. Uh, what else do we have for offers here? Nothing I can do acceptably, I'm sure. See, I could just trade. Where is it? Why did it disappear? Where did the Celebi go? It's weird. There's a Celebi that I did see. Where is it? Hang on. There it is. way at the top here. So, this here. I've seen these blister packs. There's a Celebi that comes with, uh... Or wait, is this the one that you get in the, uh... Pokemon 20 pack? No, I don't think so. It has an ancient trait. But I believe this came in blister packs and it you could get like a guaranteed Celebi. I don't know why people don't have this up on for trade though. Because like it's kind of decent. But anyways, alright. There's nothing else I can do here. Trade two rainbows for a regular bus wall. Or two regular bus wall. No, thank you. Yeah, we're not going to be able to trade away for our bus. Well, I could just trade away my World's 2017 deck and deck box and coin. Wait, I never went there. Look what you would get for that, though. Two Rainbow Rare Buzzwool and a Rainbow Rare Tapu Lele. I think that might have been worth it if I actually had that stuff. But, nope. So that wouldn't be too bad if I had the Rainbow Rare. But again, I gotta. when I'm looking at the trades, I can't trade away anything that I actually need for the decks. Alright, so I said I was going to give you a code. Let's shuffle this up once again. Not sure what's what. I know there's a uh, Tapu Coco, I think, in here somewhere. I'm trying not to see it, though. So this is for the Dragonite EX box. So this should give you Dragonite EX promo. I'm putting this in the chat. Prepare for this, everybody. I'm not sure if it get you any, like, code or, sorry, card sleeves or deck box or anything like that, but... Actually, as you re uh, redeem these folks, feel free to let me know in the bottom what did you or in the chat in the in the bottom in the chat. Feel free to let me know what you got with these codes. Uh, I think that is accurate. And Cheese Devil is back just in time for that code to be given out for the Dragonite EX, but also for the battle. 
So whenever you're set there, Cheese Dibble, feel free to send me the battle invite. For the time being, I'll just keep scrolling through and seeing what, uh, what Buzzwole I can't get. Because look what they're asking for. 20 Burning Shadows booster packs. Look at this. What is this one? 13. Oh, they're offering a uh, fighting energy too. But 13. Crimson Invasion. Do you guys hear that music? It's your boy Guzma. I'm trying to see if I can get Guzma as well here. So I'm offering, I'm offering Wiki. Or Wiki, I think it's Wiki. Full Art Wiki. I'm offering a decent amount of a uh, couple of rares. I guess not a decent amount, but. See, I'm offering Full Art for Full Art. That should be enough for a trade right there. Yeah, I know Guzma is like a lot more playable than Wiki is, but uh, it's still Full Art for Full Art. Collection purpose wise, you know, that's a good trade. Alright, so we're gonna wait for the invite or the battle challenge from CDTC Meow. Cheese Dibble the Cat. Okay, I just saw a crazy. I just saw a crazy. Let's see the crazy. I mean, okay, they are six card booster packs, but 35 of them? Who would even. What? How could you. <laughs> not gonna think about it, not gonna think about it. We're gonna go for the battle versus Cheese Dibble the Cat. Yeah, let's see if you can take on the Nihilego Annihilation. And he did say he's not gonna be watching the, the stream right now, so he's not gonna know what's in my hand. Even if he does, it doesn't matter because this is gonna be a crazy deck. Watch him not mulligan once, though. If you don't know what deck he's using, I don't exactly know for sure. But I could just spoil it right now. It's going to be Guzzlord GX. I know it. Oh, they had no basics. All right, let's lead off with our cutie fly. All right, so let's see how many mulligans they do have. It's going to just go through one reshuffle because it doesn't show us every single reshuffle. But they have one, two, three. Only three. All right. That was actually, uh, not bad. Do I take them? No, I don't. As you know, I don't take my mulligan cards. But we see Guzzlord. Alright, let's play the fan club. And they're taking the first turn, meaning they get to attack on their first turn. So let's grab Nihilego and Comfe. I also have Ultra Ball in hand as well. So we'll drop Nihilego. Yeah, let's do that. Conditions. Poison and confuse both of them. Who do you think is going to win this match, guys? Guzzlord can have a lot of power behind it. But you got to get the right cards to prepare for that. So, Metal Energy, we're going to put the Fighting Fury Belt down. See, I can just free retreat, too, is a thing. <clears throat> Which I. Should I do it right now? I do have Ultra Ball to get uh, another Pokemon. Now we're going to end it right there. We're going to let them eat sloppily. Do they have any way to heal themselves, though? So if they do the damage, Tyrannical Hold does 180. Damage to yourself. Okay, then. Hmm. See, even though I know what the strategy is, what they're going to try to do here is just constantly... Uh... You know what? I am going to Ultra Ball. I'm losing a puzzle of time, which kind of hurts. I'm going to run another Cutie Fly. But they're trying to just use the Eat Sloppily attack for one energy and power up the Tyrannical Hole and Glutton GX immediately. Yep, yeah, right there. One Pokemon, 59 energy cards. There goes my Cutie Fly. Oh no. There goes my next Cutie Fly. Oh yes. Oh, the poison went with it. That looked bad. The whole. What? I just heard Pile's poison now? Eat sloppily. They do manage to fire it off this time. Get all these energies going on to it. Okay, so they are at 70 damage. That is 140 remaining. They've taken one price. That's 30, 60, 70. We can do 70 damage right now. Huh. Knocking themselves out here. Alright, so that 110. 120. We're gonna end it right there. And I believe that is the match. 
Cutie fly, come on back, bud. Yeah, we got this. Cobalion, smack this thing down, would you? Thank you. Get out of here, Guzzlord. Interesting idea, but Nihilego just has the leg up with that poison ink confusion. That is a pretty crazy idea, though. Could you imagine if, like, I didn't poison or confuse? Like, see, the thing is, putting more cards into a deck like that to prevent the status would help you out, but it's still, that reduces how much each sloppily you can do. And there's a chance you would discard those cards that you need, too, so it's like, that's a pretty... I don't know, if the opponent has some way to get around that condition, then... Well, not condition, what am I trying to say? They get, if they somehow get away around the constant attacking, then it's kind of hard to pull off. But anyway, what we're going to do right here... Yeah, good game to you as well, Cheese Dibble. If it wasn't for that confusion and poison, you probably would have had that, or at least give me a lot better, a uh, lot longer run for my money. So I'm going to try that little sneaky, not sneaky, but little strategic switch over to uh, Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battling to see if I can actually make this happen. I'm going to fire up my Sun and Moon game. The volume might be a little bit too loud on that. Again, let me know how the volume sounds as I do my little switch over here. Can I switch mid-presentation? Uh, what? Bear with me here. I did the wrong thing. Let's see. I gotta move this friend code. It's too big. I think it was too big last time too. Oh, and I'm not even centered. There we go. I probably wasn't centered the whole time. Right, so I'm doing some live editing here. I think that looks good. I'm gonna stop the uh, music as well. So let's get the in-game music here. All right. So if anyone wants to battle me in Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battling, just let me know. Let's go in my festival plaza. And if not, I'll just do like a random battle online here. Let's get to my chat. Alright, have a good evening there, Cheese Dibble. Thanks for the match. Thanks for showing off the power of Guzzlord, or at least the uh, proposed power of Guzzlord. Of course, we managed to deal with it rather handily. But, it's luck of the draw. If I didn't have Nihilego, that would have went a whole different way. So, I'm connecting to the internet here in the Festival Plaza. But, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I can transition from one game to the next in the middle of the live stream. I don't know how the audio sounds though, so if there's any, if the music's too loud or anything, just let me know and I can fix that up. And Anderson, you're still watching? Cool. How's it going? Did you enjoy those matches? Could you have toppled either of those decks? See, I don't have a lot of those cards in the, uh, oh, my game sync failed. What? Anyway, I don't have a lot of the cards in the, you know, my uh, real collection. These are just the online cards, but, so if I could assemble these decks online, It'd be kind of an interesting little showdown. Let's go to the battle. Let's just go to battle spot. I'll just do like a random battle against somebody else. If anyone out there wants to battle me, though, let me know. Let's go with a free battle. Yeah, we'll do free battle. We'll do a uh, banned special Pokemon. Or wait, do I have Nebby in my team? I'll tell you what, let's go. Let's do a battle royal, just to mix things up a little bit. I usually don't do Battle Royals. We will do special Pokemon allowed because I'm going to bring my uh, good old Nebby. Where is my Purge? There we go. They're not all level 100 just yet, but I am working on getting them up to that point. I'm not going to make it there in time for... Oh, they got the same held item? Oh, they got the Z-Crystals. Drat. All right. Can I use these guys? I don't think they're going to allow them. Oh, that's interesting. See, these are all from older games. I thought they would have been not allowed. Let's do this music. All right, let's do this battle royal. If we can actually find people. Sometimes it's hard to find opponents for the battle royals. But I'll probably just do one match here unless someone out there wants to battle me. This was more of a test to see how I can do a transition. And I messed it up. You know, I didn't bring up this new layout. I actually went to a blank layout, which I guess you saw nothing for a little bit there. Hopefully you can still hear me, though. All right, do we manage to find any opponents? For the Battle Royal. The hard part is, of course, you gotta find, like, three opponents. So, I don't know. It's not looking too good just yet. If not, we'll just do a simple single battle. Now that I know I can use my water starting team. And hopefully, with any luck... And hello, Unknown Spike. Thanks for still watching. Hope you're enjoying the uh, stream so far. What I'll probably start doing is maybe putting out some ideas to you folks. What should we do in the next stream? High CPU usage detected? Oh no. Probably because I got so much stuff going on. I should probably close down the uh, Pokemon TCG. 
I don't think you see that in doing it. What's really cool with this program that I use, it only shows the screen of whatever part of the, uh, what would you even call it? The desktop I'm using, basically. So if another window overlays on top of it, I don't think it shows that on the stream, which I really like. I don't think we're going to find anybody. Still looking, still looking. And eh, probably not. But yeah, I'll probably throw out some ideas, like, uh, once we do some, like, Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battling, I'll probably say, maybe I'll use a, I'll be like a gym leader, and I'll use a, a type-themed team. Like this one right here, I'm using my Water Star, just from all the different generations. Not all, I guess Sonata or Primarina is not in here. Yeah, so we didn't find anybody, let's go for free battle, and we'll go for singles. And we'll allow all Pokemon, why not? We'll see what we can do against uh, the legendary Ultra Beasts, I'm sure. Alright, it's called the Battle Tree Team. I'm not sure why I still call that. I didn't use them in the Battle Tree. So, Guardy would do good against Guzzlord GX. How much HP does Guzzlord have? Guzzlord has 210 total HP. There we go. So, 210. And... So, what does the Metagross do again? I know Algorithm GX does... You look for five cards of your choice. Do you think Guzzlord is a big threat, though? I don't think a lot of people would try to use it like that. I think, you know, they might. I don't know. I guess in the end, it's up to your, your choice, your call, like what you think would be your best way to win the tournament. And if uh, Gardevoir... So Gardevoir GX... Is it the GX that we're talking about, or is it EX, first of all? Because the GX does more damage based on how much energy it has attached, I think. I'm not finding any opponents in singles, either. Even if I don't find an opponent, at least I now know the, uh, the streaming software works from going one, from one game to the other. So you guys excited for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon coming out in, uh, six days? Is it really that soon? I gotta work on a layout for that thing. So what I'm planning to do, since I did play Pokemon Moon as my main playthrough, I'll probably play Ultra Sun as my, I guess, sequel slash alternate reality, I guess, playthrough. Because it's weird, they're not saying it's a sequel, it is the same game, like same time frame, but just a different telling of it. I don't know, so I'm going for the Ultra, Ultra Sun, to try to mix things up a little bit. Not finding anybody there either, let me just try doubles. And see if we can find anybody before we call this stream complete. Allow the special Pokemon. Choose my old water starters. I don't even know what items they're holding. I mean, they all have items prepared. So Gardevoir GX. And yeah, what are the attacks on Gardevoir GX? I know it has the... What is the ability called? Secret Spring. You have to attach an extra energy per turn. Isn't it the amount of energy attached to all your Pokemon you do damage? I think. And the GX move, you shuffle back 10 discarded cards, if I'm remembering correctly. So, yeah, it could do decent. I can check your channel out, yeah, in a little bit. i got to finish up some stuff after here. I might not have time tonight, because I have to make sure everything's done here. I also got... If you could see around this room, outside the webcam, it is a mess. i got to tidy stuff up. I might maybe put some videos on while I'm doing some cleaning here, though. So, just, uh, I'll see if I can remember to do that. I have checked out, I think, what was one of your videos? I did check out one of them at one point. I forget, this was like way back when, when you first mentioned it to me, though. I can't find any opponents. Nobody wants to battle the professor. That's fine. All right, then. I'll probably aim for like a, a better live stream, more planned out. Like, I was going to live stream last night. I got home from Pokemon Going, which, if you haven't seen, I did upload two videos today, Suicune Battles and... Let's say attempted captures, and I'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I uploaded. Or, I found somebody. I did do a video yesterday. By the time I got home after all the walking around, I was kind of beat. So I was just like, I'll do a, a kind of extended live stream tomorrow, which I guess is not really extended. It's about the two-hour length that I try to go for. All right, so we see a lot of these powerful Pokemon. Let's go with Skippy, who has ICMZ. Let's go with Springer with the leftovers. And I'm just basically bringing my stronger Pokemon. And Shelbert, you have Eviolite? Yeah. I can bring everybody? Oh, it's a double battle. What am I thinking? Let's just go with that, I guess. Alright. Snapper can come in too. 
This is loud. Is it loud for you guys? I hope not. It is kind of loud for me, but it's alright. I guess as long as I can, as long as you can hear me talk. Thanks, Unknown Spike. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I'm up against some legendaries, however, so I don't think we're going to see a victory from the old professor. Soul Valley Rayquaza. Oh, look at the shines. Not bad. Are we going to see Mega Evolution to Mega Rayquaza? It's possible. All right. The airlocks or weather has disappeared. Not that we're going to go for Mega Swampert anyways. We're going to go for the Z-Power of... I know you can't see the bottom screen. We're going to go for the Sub-Zero Slammer to Rayquaza. As for Springer, let's go defensive. We're going to have to throw the Substitute up. It is loud. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can adjust this. Uh, one sec. Oh, my mix. Hmm. So it's weird. I have the total volume down. Try. See, we're faster here. Let me try this. I don't know if that changes anything or not. Oh, Skippy hangs in there. Sorry for the loudness. I'll try to figure this out afterwards. I'll just do one battle here. Hidden power. Oh, not bad. All right, so despite how loud this sounds, hopefully we can get the Sub Zero Slammer knockout on Rayquaza. Come on, Skip. What do you think, guys? Is this going to be the KO? We're going to make it through okay? Now, I believe you did break my substitute. Oh, it weakens the ice weakness. That's right, okay. Huh, but I think Springer is still faster. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mega Ray is done. So what typing is the Silvalli? Hmm. I can't really tell. Do you guys know what type it is? Feel free to let me know. If I play Gardevoir GX, would you play Sylveon GX anyway? Hmm. I don't know. Like... If you're afraid of Guzzlord, Plea GX might be a good attack. You could shuffle, not shuffle, you could put Guzzlord and all its cards back into the opponent's hand. It's going to take that much longer to power Guzzlord back up, so that could be an idea if you're going to use a Sylveon. Alright, let us... Well, I'm pretty sure Skippy's going down. I'm going to try Stealth Rock. And as for Springer... I'm going to substitute again. You're probably going to see a Power Herb Geomancy here. Sub goes back up. Soul Valley. Oh, Focus Blast. Does connect. And a Skippy. Okay. Right, so Skip falls. Their hidden power. So the hidden power is super effective. That might just be a normal Soul Valley, too, based on the color. The question is, is it holding an item? I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it might be a grass type. The ears loot do look green, but that's the shiny coloration, I'm pretty sure. That's not necessarily showing different typing. All right, let's go, Shelbert. Let's get in there, buddy. Little Squirtle taking the field. He has actually survived a Moonblast from a uh, Xerneas before with the Fairy Aura up with the uh, Eviolite being held. No, there's no item on Soul Valley, so it's just normal type. Okay, so let's go with... Uh, I'm going to try Icy Wind to slow both opponents down. Not that I think it's going to matter that much. I'm going to substitute once again. The idea that I'm going for... I'm trying to uh, lower my HP so that Waterfall will be more powerful with my Torrent ability. Moonblast, come on, hit Shelbert. Yes, watch him live this, guys. This is crazy. Look how little that does. I love it. He's not going to survive another one, of course, but if we can land Icy Wind and slow these things down, that's going to help us. Ah, oh. At least we slowed down the Xerneas, though. don't think it's going to help Shelbert. But it might help Snap when he comes in. Wait, I can lower the volume even more. Does that help a little bit? I did lower it down by about half of what it was. Okay, let's go with... Uh, let's just try Scald, if Shelbert survives a hit. 
And Greninja, Springer, we're going to go another substitute. Of course, that is the play to make. I'm going to end the stream right after this fight, I think. Just, I've done enough testing and stuff to see how things work out. So, we will end off after this. So, around 10 o'clock or so. Multi-attack. Normal type. Torrent. Boosted. Come on, hit Springer. Yes! We're going to get the Torrent boosted Scald. I think that's what I went for. My substitute, no! Come on, Shelbert, burn him up, man! Look at that damage! Look at that burn! Yes. Alright, and substitute... Uh, no, sorry, leftovers recovery. Do we have enough left in us for another... Substitute? Let's do the math. 155. A fourth of that would be about 40... Less than 40. Yeah, I think we have enough for one more substitute. Let's see if we can burn Soul Valley as well. So let's just try Substitute here. See if we can get ourselves down to like 1 or 2 HP. Heading out, Anderson? Alright, have a good evening. Glad, thanks for watching. Glad you were around for this uh, stream. Oh, that's going to get through. Oh, man. Sound base moves get through Substitutes. That's no fun. They play me like a book. And whoosh, Albert avoids the Focus Blast. <laughs> we burn Soul Valley. No, all right. We well, could burn Xerneas though. See, this is fun. This is why I don't play competitive. This is I have fun with this craziness. Like you know, look at Shelbert. He's up against these legendaries. Well, not really legendary for Type Null, but Type Null, Soul Valley. I've been saying his name the whole time. Why do I mess up now? Let's try another Icy Wind, I suppose. And for Snapper, let's try a Power Up Punch on Soul Valley. Why not? We might see what typing of the uh, hidden power it is too, though. Yeah, it might have been. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Grass type, unknown spike. When you said it might be grass. Please stand by. The opponent is shaking in their boots. I'm sure. How do we deal with these two starting basic Pokemon? Shelbert, no. Down to a flamethrower. Now, does the icy wind speed drop count? Nope. Oh, how beautiful. I hope uh, we have our focus sash on. I can't remember if that's what Snapper's holding or not. I'm going to see the Twinkle Tackle attack. Come on, Snapper. You can handle this, bud. Look at this. This is ridiculous. No! <laughs> focus sash! <laughs> nice. Power up punch. Get that attack stat boost. And with that, we are going to forfeit the game because, yeah, the opponent takes this one. But, man, that was fun. I enjoyed it. I like taking out the Mega Rayquaza with that one ice move. Very cool. But congratulations to the opponent on their use of Legendary Pokemon. And my desire not to use Legendary Pokemon. But whatever. That's what the free battle is all about. So I guess, yeah, with that, yeah, it was fun and I did try. Surprising things happened in that one, too. Shelbert taking that Focus Blast, like, come on. But that is going to end off our stream for today, so I hope you I, you can't even speak. I went this whole time without messing up too much, and I mess up right now. But I hope you all enjoyed watching, and feel free to stay tuned for more live streams, of course. You can click on the... Is there a link? I don't know. You can subscribe to the channel for some more regular Pokemon content. I'm trying to uh, have a live stream every weekend either Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes I'm going to try for both, but I guess based on how slacktacular I tend to be, I'll say not even guaranteed one per weekend, but I'm aiming for at least one per weekend, maybe two. We'll see what happens. But that is going to be a wrap. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed everything we went through today. I'm going to go back into TCG afterwards and see if I can get those trades done to record another match for this week coming up with some Ultra Beasts. So stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned for the return of our XD Gale of Darkness playthrough starting tomorrow. And Unknown Spike, I'm going to use your recommendation of training up our Snow Runt from the PC. And I'm going to start doing the grinding later on tonight, just a little bit, actually. So again, thanks for watching, folks. Professor Chaz is now signing off. And as always... I'll catch you next time. Bye! Now, where do I click to end this off? I believe right up around here. Bye!